It's funny how usually problems are a source of positive change, which is the case in this vlog because I don't have my 19 millimeter right now. So I needed a narrower lens, which means I had to change my composition, which means I wanted to make it more interesting, which means I changed around my lighting and everything else. And it doesn't look so bad. Hey you, my name is Leon. Welcome to the Weekly Wednesday Vlog. I can't move this hand around too much because I'm gonna hit the mic. But uh, I recently watched the video of Elon Musk announcing Tesla's new Cybertruck and it was mind-blowing. And, and that's not necessarily positive. Like when it came up to the stage, you can hear, you can watch some of the videos around. I wasn't there obviously because I'm in Eastern Europe. But like you can hear the pause in the audience when the truck rolls into stage, people are like, what the and according to a lot of the youtubers they were like is this a joke is the actual cyber truck coming after this especially if you watch if you see some of the renders that you know other people did of what they thought the cyber truck was gonna look like so the word that's used very often for the opinions of people is polarizing because you know you got the the right hand side which is all against it and like it's ugly and oh my god this is totally not like a pickup truck and then the left side which is all like oh this is awesome and unique and different i'm totally gonna get it it's very divine Divided and very extreme opinions there is not really like a middle where people are like yeah it's okay and we'll probably mention this later it's probably intentional a really good explanation about why this was done the way it was done is because Tesla would have a very hard time breaking into the pickup truck the pickup truck into the pickup truck market as it's already very saturated fulfilled by a bunch of other companies pickup trucks really have established their place on the market the way they are and maybe this is the particular strategy that Elon chose where he would make a very loved or hated type of product it would specifically resonate with like the the niche techies who are totally into like cyber themed products and digital products and then after they've been around for a while people kind of get used to it and then it's gonna you know slowly seep into the general consumer's mind and while i don't necessarily consider myself the niche of the techie geek guess what i would buy it now i don't know if it's because i'm like a creative whatever designery type of person or just because i'm plain weird but i like things that are different and unusual for that reason alone functionality and practicality are definitely the number one priority but when it comes to appearances i want it to be as unique as personal while still being aesthetic and the cyber truck fits just that category and i'd love to know what you guys think would you or would you not buy it and why let me know in the comments below obviously the cyber truck won't be out for another couple of years especially when it comes to the eastern part of europe and while it's a great price for maybe u.s residents for the average consumer in eastern europe it is a very hefty price with time as e vehicles become more of a standard i hope that the prices will drop and then used cars will also come into play things like that but till then i'm still working on getting my driving license anyway so it's not like i need to get a car tomorrow thanks for popping by this tiny little basic video it wasn't anything mind-blowing like what tesla brought on stage but i like sharing my opinion hoping it resonates with some people out there maybe dispel some questions or things like that tell me know what you thought of this video thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'm gonna see you guys next week i heard there's a company that's making electric vans which is definitely something i'm looking forward to especially considering i really want to get into van life